Hi team, I wanted to collect my thoughts on some of the important aspects of our current development directions and how I would like to move forward with them and where I see us going. So let me start. <clears throat> um, I will start with the proof of concept with the agent because I really like it, or well, let's call it broker as Mikhail renamed it. <clears throat> so I've been playing with Argo CD during the weekend and I think Argo CD is actually a pretty nice piece of product. Um, obviously it's 10th of the size of GitLab, so it, it strictly focuses on deployments to a cluster, nothing else which is a pretty limited use case. On the other hand, it has a few really nice features. First of all, I could install it without any hassle, just following the docs, everything works perfect. The other thing that I noticed, and I would like to see in our agent as well, is to be able to have, let's assume that I have production cluster, back office cluster, staging cluster, whatever, and actually with Argo CD, you install Argo CD only in one of your clusters, and you teach Argo CD to, to reach out to the other clusters. So I think this is a really nice feature because personally, if I administer a cluster, I don't want any extra resources on my production clusters, obviously. So <clears throat> with Argo City, you can do that. And I think this is what we should aim for with the agent as well to, to not be required to insert to all the clusters, just have it in one of your clusters already inside your internet and it can reach the other clusters, even with cluster admin rights. Actually, this is why GitLab current, current this integration might not be such a huge issue for self-managed instances. So this is one thing that I think is really nice in Argo CD. The other is, as it focuses really on deployment, I think that they made the right choice uh, supporting many ways of configurations of the deployments like the simple kubectl manifest, manifest, customize, Helm, case on that, etc. So I'm pretty sure sooner or later we'll have to do that as well. And as a result, I would instead use Argo CD behind the hood or make it super simple to use Argo CD. One thing that we should not use, I mean, that we should not encourage to be used, but rather uh, copy or make something much better is the UI. They, ha they have, the UI is something similar to what we call deployment boards, just their UI is much better, which is a very poor thing to say, but that's the truth. So <clears throat> there basically you can see the, the whole setup with, uh, this is your deployment, this is a service here, you have these pods attached, what port, and you can see everything in much more details. So I would envision our deployment board in this way. This was a topic around Argo CD and the proof of concept that we are currently running. And deployment boards actually lead us to a different topic, which is environments and Terraform. I would like us to sooner or later take over environments or large parts of the environments that GitLab has, because basically <clears throat> an environment is always an infrastructure and we are focusing on that. And right now, we have nothing for Terraform, even though it could be very interesting to have something similar to deployment boards for Terraform as well. Currently, if you have to run a manual apply step, then you have to find the pipeline that has that given apply step being logged and click on it to, to apply your things. Instead of this, it would be much nicer to be able to say that, okay, I have my deployment board, here's my staging, here's my production, and I see that some items are waiting on the staging or on the production environment to be applied. Of course, with Terraform, we can't really say, propagate this commit from staging to production because those are usually different directories and you want to merge those on purpose, but even applying them, so making the final manual step <clears throat> would be really, really beneficial, I think. So to, to have a UI for that. And <clears throat> a third step, a, a third topic that is that I want to highlight 
is again related to the to the broker to the Kubernetes broker that we are currently building, which is I think we should somehow be able to to tie it into the I wouldn't say GitLab CI YAML, but but uh, to define everything through code and leverage the values the the code that GitLab already has thanks to thanks to GitLab CI YAML format. So somehow leverage it, but I think we don't want to use the CI YAML actually. Finally, uh, fourth topic is what we spoke about in case of the manifest project in, during the design sprint that we envision Kubernetes deployments running uh, using the manifest project and actually have a separate application project and you deploy from the manifest project. <clears throat> I think this is a great way forward and uh, something that I've seen many cases with enterprise users and I've seen only one different case, uh, the Vive discussion I had last week where they had a single project, but actually they are doing project work. So everything is in a single project there. And I would like to extend this idea of a manifest project to all our infrastructure related code bases, which would mean that if I start a Terraform project, then that is already an infrastructure project. And whatever kind of project I create, we should always think about it that this is my business code and here I have some kind of infrastructure related code with that and make it simple to be used accordingly. So there are always kind of these parent child pipelines that are actually a premium feature right now. So if you leverage those, that means that we are already creating uh, premium features by default. So I think this last part is a bit still messy, but together we can figure it out. So I have two, four topics. These will be discussed in this, uh, described in this issue as well for discussion. First of all, <clears throat> what can we learn from Argo CD? Because I think we should learn from them and borrow good ideas from them and perhaps even use them behind the hood. Second, <clears throat> having deployment boards. Uh, I, first, taken over from Argo City, second for Terraform as well. Then um, having the manifest projects for every kind of deployment job. And this would actually even allow us to say Kubernetes integration is just a Terraform project here and it's transparent and you are free to hack it away. So there are many, many things that we could uh, add this way to GitLab. Thanks for your attention and I'm really super open to your feedback in this issue. Thank you very much.